I come from an area what they consider melodrama was pretty much happening. My father had a little TV set, and they would show neorealist films on a Friday night for the Italian-American uh, community. Having the asthma, I was not allowed to play sports, so everything came through me, through movies on television. I lived on Elizabeth Street between Prince and Houston, but I never went to the west side. And so <laughs> I just uh, went to the corner of Elizabeth and uh, Houston, made a left, and walked about six blocks, and was in another universe. <laughs> And I was accepted into uh, Washington Square College, which was part of NYU. And so I attended this orientation uh, day, and uh, this was uh, an eye-opening uh, situation. And this gentleman got up, and he spoke with such passion and such energy about cinema, almost like a, a zealous preacher in a way. I became part of the cult. His name was Haig Mnugian. And, I, you know, found it, I was sort of taken by him at that point because of that much energy, because of that much love. Haig really inspired us. He pushed us and he cajoled us and he beat us down and he built us back up again. He set a fire in our hearts. If you were crazy enough to think you're gonna make a movie, uh, he was the one who, who inspired you. It's one of the most precious gifts I ever received. Over the years, I always get excited by other young people coming up to me and kind of guide them as best I can because it keeps me alive creatively. The fact that you're able to make someone else flower in a sense. What a joy and a privilege it's been to work with you. It's really you, Marty. It's you. Thank you. This is uh, incredible satisfaction.